Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm so glad I got a chance to stop back by again today on Operation RV. Today we got a cool episode, so stick around because I definitely wanna show you something that is an added must on maintenance. And um, if you look here, yeah, we got everything disassembled again. And uh, it's pertaining to the turbo here. So what we're gonna be doing is testing for boost leaks. But first, I wanna demonstrate on how you can make a homemade tester uh, versus going out there and spending, you know, uh, 50 to several hundred dollars on a tester. So stick around. you want to do next is go ahead and just get a squirt bottle or something that you can provide some some suds into and just start squirting down all of your tubing um, all of your sleeves even around this little area you just did and then what we're going to do is uh, look for bubbles all right so uh, what I have here right next to the truck is my compressor and um, Safely, what you want to do is have it dialed in no more than 20. I would say 15. It should be more than plenty. Um, and, of course, you're going to be able to tell once you start using the squirt bottle on uh, your boost tubing sleeves. And uh, But, yeah, safely, I wouldn't recommend anything more than, more than 20. So let's go ahead and get this turned on. It might be noisy for a second. But then we're going to put our air gauge chuck up to this and... Let's check for leaks. All right, so I made some adjustments on my regulator uh, to get it actually around 15. It wasn't it wasn't set yet, but um, I already found my first leak. So let me show you what you're looking for. Put some more soap. Go ahead and put your chuck back up to it. Watch here. You also hear a hissing hissing noise. You can probably hear that right now. I'm sure you can hear that. Look at that. See it? It's leaking right there. All these little leaks add up, and so ultimately what you want to make sure is that you have an adequate amount of boost at all times because... Um, it's again, you're losing and not gaining what the turbo is capable of producing. So this is just another added maintenance step that you want to do from, you know, periodically. And, um, also on top of that, it's the DIY tester here. As you can see, it's very inexpensive. 
Uh, you don't have to spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars or even taking it in to your uh, local mechanic shop to have them test. So the idea behind this is just to um, add the soapy water around all the joints on the boost tubing sleeves and just listen and repeat the process until you feel confident. Uh, my particular truck here, it drove it drove fine, but being new to me, um, I wanted to, I want to make sure that you know there is no actual leaks because I want all the power that I can get that this turbo provides. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this uh, know-how video um, and quick or uh, quick DIY on this boost tester. So, again, thanks for checking back by, and as always, drop those comments down below. Definitely enjoy reading those. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell notification. And until next time, guys, God bless.